Hello and welcome to another Nintendo Agenda. You didn't have to wait four years for this one. <laughs> no, uh, earlier this month I did one on uh, Switch Joy-Con patents, uh, the drift issue, and some ideas that I had. That was a pretty long video. I'm hoping that this video is not as long. But this one's going to be about the Switch dock. I have, again, ideas. Uh, we'll also go over some patents. And uh, we'll go over the uh, um, issues that it has. So kind of like how I did the last video where, you know, I'm going to talk about patents first, then uh, limitations and, and um, issues with the dock, uh, and then ideas for a new dock. So, but first, uh, you know, before we get into any of this, I'm going to Nintendo's online store, store.nintendo.com, and we're going to go here, and we're going to look for the dock. So, we go to Switch, and then we go to Accessories, and, you know, there's been a lot of people talking about this. Oh, they're discontinuing the dock. That means that they're going to make an, a new switch, a new dock, and all this other stuff, right? I'm 50-50 on whether that is the case uh, or whether it matters because um, they could just be not making any more docks or they're just on back order or who the heck knows. Now, I've heard conflicting things saying, oh, they no, they brought the docks back. The docks, are, they're still making them. And then other people are saying, no, 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 they're completely gone. Oh, my God, you know, and all this other stuff, right? So they still have it advertised on here. Now, I don't know if you remember, but when the docks were first announced to be sold separately, they came with the power, they came with, um, you know, the HDMI and the dock itself, um, it was like, I want to say $80, $90, but as you can see here, it says $59.99. So we go to it, but wouldn't you know, it says it's out of stock. Um, now, I don't know how long it's been like this. Uh, I don't know if it's, you know, I, I believe I've seen them... Um, in stock more recently and you know i before i made this video i checked this and i'm like wait it is it's out of stock again so maybe they are not making any more new ones or maybe they're getting ready to replace it with something else um there's been complaints about the dock scratching the screen and being too tight or warped or whatever so when you put it in there it's scratching the screen blah 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 um then there's been uh, problems with third parties making their docks, but their, you know, their bricking systems because people, you know, I, I don't know. I only trust the Nintendo one, and mine hasn't scratched my screen. So, but I do think that it could be smaller. I do think that it could be improved, um, and certainly it shouldn't be eighty dollars. Sixty is still kind of too expensive. Now that's the thing too. Was this sixty dollars for a refurbished one? You know, as Nintendo labels their uh, their refurbished ones as cheaper than you know new ones, so I don't know if that was the price they had lowered it. Um, I don't know. So that's that's the first thing out of the way when it comes to you know problems with the with the current dock and whether there be a new one or not. We're, we'll get into more. So I want to talk about. Um, the patent a long time ago, external uh, console upgrade. Now this was called the, uh, what do they call it? Supplemental computing device is what the patent called it. Now, um, now we go to the picture and this is the picture from the patent that Tweaktown is talking about. And I like this guy, Derek. I like the way he, he um, dives into this stuff. All three of these articles that I'm going to be showing you in this video are going to be from Tweaktown, and all three of them are going to be written by him. So, <laughs> uh, I guess shout out to him. But this this is stuff that a lot of people don't talk about. They're, oh, is Tweaktown credible? or It's not about whether they're credible or not, because most of this stuff is opinion. Most of this stuff is just speculation and, and ideas. And that's what I like to do with Nintendo Agenda. It's about, it's about speculation and ideas. So as you can see, there's uh, the supplemental computing device. So, and then there's the game console itself. 
and yada, 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 right? Um, now, other people have made videos about this before and they have their own theories. Is this an add-on to the dock? Is it the dock itself? I mean, think about it. It is a outside external thing that plugs into the console or the console plugs into it. <clears throat> and this was, as you can see, this uh, article was written back in 2016 before the, the Switch launched. And it was updated more recently in 2020. So <laughs> that's kind of a, that's like a four year later update. So anyways, um, this was before the, the Switch had even been announced as a Switch. They were calling it, uh, as you can see at the bottom of the article, they were calling it NX, which is the code name for the Nintendo Switch, which NX would basically be in X, uh, <laughs> that's an, that's another word for cross or stage or, or, um, or, um, switch, you know, so kind of the name was kind of there all along, but <laughs> even in the code name, <clears throat> but here's another, uh, thing to talk about the supplemental computing device. Was it the Doxus itself? You know, as you can see in this picture here, is it, you know, there's the game, game console, uh, or is the game console itself inside the dock because it outs, out, you know, uh, outputs to a display, whether it's the display on the uh, device because it was portable. They hadn't let the cat out of the bag yet with these um, patents that, you know, were found after this, the Switch was already announced. But um, <clears throat> the cat wasn't out of the bag that it was going to be a hybrid. Uh, I mean, I knew it was going to be, uh, or at least I was speculating on it way back then. Um, and most people who were seeing where Nintendo was going with this uh, saw it as a, as a hybrid. Blah, blah, blah. But is this device the dock, but it's not outputting to the display? Or is it something that's added to the dock? Now... Most people, when they think of the supplemental computing device, when it was first talked about, they were like, oh, man, this, the Switch is so weak. It needs it needs more power, right? So could it have been that? Yes, this article talks about it being that. But the article also talks about it being almost like a server. So like, a you know, it connects to a network, and then that network has a, a bigger network of servers with with users and and you know nintendo themselves providing uh network services and blah 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 but locally as you can see in the patent and in uh this article he talks about um you know nintendo compensating people who open this up as a server uh for local um switches um, and, uh, other ideas like that. So yes, it was providing maybe more visual, uh, capabilities, more graphical up upgrades, um, more power, but more so it was, it seemed that the uh, patent was talking about more stuff in the, in the computing era beyond just how the game looks and more about, you know, connecting it to a network and, you know, Blah, blah, blah. You can read this article. Just just look up Tweak Town and look up the name of the article here is Nintendo Patents External Console Upgrade Box. Now, you know, the idea of, oh, wow, it's like a Nintendo 64, uh, you know, expansion pack. You just plug this in and it gives more power, blah, blah, blah. All it did is get more memory, by the way. But, um, you know, that, that, that was certainly a thought and a possibility. But I think it goes back, way back, to Project Cafe. Now, uh, you don't know what that is. That was the code name for the Wii U. And I talked about this in a previous uh, Nintendo Agenda video from years back. I'm talking like, basically, you know, uh, talking about the uh, idea of Project Cafe. I think it was actually the first video that I made on YouTube of that was Nintendo labeled as Nintendo agenda. I was numbering them. I was thinking I was going to make a bunch of these videos. Um, as we get to closer to E3, I am speculating more. I am wanting to do these videos more and stuff. So, 
Um, but back then I thought I was going to be doing it more and I ended up, you know, the, the Wii U kind of crashed and burned and then the Switch was coming out. I was like, this is the best idea ever. And I was right. <laughs> it was, the, it was the hybrid and, um, I haven't really worried about it too much, but with all these rumors going around now and all the speculation already going around now, I, ha I have to say my piece. And last week I talked to, or last earlier this month, uh, in the last video, I talked about the joy cons. Uh, and now I'm talking about the dock. Um, but again, this could be, uh, trying to reapply the idea of the, of the cafe to the switch before it had launched it back when it was called project NX. So project cafe. And I think the reason why they called it project cafe was originally the, um, game pad for the Wii U. Uh, they were going to start selling them separately and extra ones so that you could have multiple ones and that the display de technology that they were using could output to multiple screens. Now, that never came to fruition, obviously, and the Wii U was kind of, they were probably thinking, oh, well, yeah, you know, people are, um, I remember they were referring to a book, kind of like how they referred the Wii as a revolution to the idea of blue ocean strategy versus red ocean strategy of, you know, but that's a whole other tangent. Um, <clears throat> look into that stuff. It's, it's really interesting stuff. Why Nintendo did what they did with the Wii and what they were probably thinking when the Wii U came out, which was basically more than just ubiquitous. Uh, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but basically, um, two screen play, right? Um, but it was more than that. I think that the idea was that they would sell <clears throat> the Wii U console part um, and it would come with the game pad normally, but then you could also buy extra game pads and that places like a cafe, for instance, um, could, you know, have one system or maybe two or three systems, but then have like 10 game pads connecting to those systems to do like quiz games or puzzle games or video games, uh, in a cafe setting. Um, you know how, uh, before everybody started going to like B dubs and sports bars and stuff like that. And they had those, those quiz games that you could play on screen, um, which is a, a rehashed concept of, you know, playing quiz games through, through cable television back in the day. Um, with your remote control, you could have like a, a little game. They had like a, like a, it was during the, before the craze of, um, iPads and, and tablets and stuff like that. They had a little game pad that you could use to play those games. Now, nowadays people just download an app like at B-dubs, the, uh, uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, they've got a app that you can download and then interact with the, uh, the monitors around the, um, uh, the sports bar that are playing, you know, trivia or quizzes or, you know, any number of, of things. Uh, even theaters do them now if you get there early enough in the theater and you download an app to your phone. So the phone kind of replaced that idea. And I think Nintendo knew that. That's why they never went forward with the idea of having multiple screens up to, hooked up to one television. But maybe some somehow they thought, okay, well, this supplemental computing device can be used as a server, possibly, for multiple switches to connect to, or at this time, NX, uh, Project NX, to connect to and, um, you know, like in a bar setting or in a restaurant setting. While you're waiting for your food, you play little mini games or like Mario Party type games, you know, did it ever get panned out? No, of course not. But it's certainly something that they patented as an idea. Uh, let's move on from that because I've already spent too much time talking about that. But I just wanted to get that out of the way because some people were thinking the supplemental computing device was just the dock, was an upgrade that was external. They certainly do have something like that for um, laptops and stuff to where you could plug your laptop into a dock and it not only charges it, like, say, like the Switch dock does, and hooks it up to a television, but that it could also has have um, external GPU power added to your, to your, like, especially for gaming or graphical uh, 
um, application projects and stuff like that. That you know that that was a possibility. Uh, I don't think it's the direction that they're going. Um, it could be that the new dock um, for uh, the current switch or the new switch that may be coming um, may have some of this idea of a supplemental computing device in it. But I, I think it's not going to be as that ambitious. Uh, if anything, they need to make the price of the of the docks lower, not higher. <laughs> Definitely, they need better technology. They need, you know, but I think that they need less material. Uh, certainly, I think the current dock was too big. I think they thought, oh, it's got to protect the screen in case you tip it over. Or, you know, they were just thinking way ahead. But now, um, I talked about that on the... Uh, did I already delete that? No, I didn't. So they have at the Nintendo store. Um, they have this. This is pretty cheap. Now, of course, it only charges. It does not connect to um, the television, but it's really small. You know, and it allows you to charge the uh, switch or use it in tabletop mode. They could do something like this, you know, less material, cheaper device, um, but also has the HDMI out and some USB connections like the current dock does, blah, blah, blah. So let's move on from that because I've already talked too much about that. But this was the main article that I wanted to show um, that 4K gaming could be added with a, a new dock. They could uh, upgrade the chips in the uh, current dock to allow, you know, more stuff. Now, before we talk about that, let's talk about the current switch. The current switch is actually more capable. Um, if you look at the specs of the Tegra X1 and the x Plus, which is basically what the 2017 and the 2019 uh, Logan and Marico chips are for, um, those iterations of the switch, same switch, basically the same chip, maybe a little bit more beefed up for the for the Marico, not really beefed up. It, it runs smaller, cooler, more battery efficient, um, but basically the same thing. You know, uh, the capabilities of it. When you go down in this ar article, you can see that it is capable. This is the Tegra X1 <clears throat> system on a chip. Now, I know this is old, and everybody's like, oh, it needs the upgrade. Oh, they're, they're doing away with it, blah, blah, blah. Who, just, just stop being so negative for a moment and, and look at this, and you'll see that it is capable of doing HDMI 2.0 and that it's capable of 4K and 60 frames per second. That is, um, you know... That's something that the current switch could do. Now the dock limits it because the dock that uh, that we currently have only allows for HDMI 1.4. But a new dock with a new display port to HDMI conversion could do uh, with the current switch, not just a new switch, but the current switch, HDMI 2.0 and 4K. Now could the current switch handle 4K? Certainly, it could display it, but can it can it um, render graphics in 4K? Probably not. But that's where upscaling comes in. Now, people talk about DLSS. Uh, the current switch does not have DLSS, uh, and I think DLSS 2.0 is probably the aim for if they if they were to go with DLSS. But the current switch does have the predecessor to DLSS. Uh, as 1.0, arguably, uh, which is AI upscaling, which he talks about here. Uh, the Tegra X1 and the X-Run Plus both support NVIDIA's AI upscaling. So now that's that's the primitive, like, before DLSS, you know, which is the deep learning super sampling, which allows you to use artificial intelligence to take a small or a lower resolution image and make it a higher resolution image just by, you know, 
using artificial intelligence to interpolate what it would look like at a higher resolution. So it's not actually outputting 4K, but let's say it's a 10, 1080p image and then it you know upscales it to 4K using these algorithms. Now you'd have to be connected to the internet and then AI, uh, there's server banks that NVIDIA has. And it's, you know, this is, this is the predecessor or maybe a continuation because I, I've read mixed uh, things about this that um, that this is this is like pre DLSS, but some argue that it actually is DLSS one one uh, But now we've moved on to two point and if there is going to be a new switch and a new dock or uh, or whatever, it's it's probably gonna it's probably gonna be more focused on DLSS. 2.0 um, and probably would need something beyond the Tegra X1. So, but that's a, that's a whole other uh, video to do talking about the chipset and all that stuff. I'm, we're just talking about the dock for right now. But the uh, the current dock is only 1.4 HDMI and uh, uh, has limitations that would that would prevent you from doing 4K output. The, the cord that comes with the, uh, the, uh, the HDMI cable that comes with the current switch could not out could not run a 4k image through it. You would need a new cable basically. You would need a um, ultra HD uh, you know 4k capable you know I, th I think it's HDMI 2.0 uh, or 2.0 B. They're on uh, 2.1 now, I believe, maybe even higher than that. I haven't kept up with the complete technology of uh, HDMI, but I know that the spec has been going up um, to provide more capabilities all the way up to 8K and all this other crap. But regardless, the rumors are talking about 4K, and 4K would be an upgrade from what we currently have on the current Switch. So blah, 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 and the current dock. So this next article, which was written even more recently, because that last one was written in 2020, uh, talks about, you know, there's going to have the new screen, the OLED um, display, uh, 4K, Pro, blah, blah, blah. But he goes back to the same things that he was saying before in the other one, saying that we, they would have to have a new a dock because the, the current dock has limitations through HDMI and, and through other things. So um, there was a more recent firmware update. Uh, before that, they had firmware updates where they alluded to another system called the ALA. Uh, maybe I'm saying that wrong. Um, uh, you know, the, the previous chip was called uh, Americo, and the one before that was Logan. That's obviously X-Men references, but ALA, I don't... It's not a comic character, but you know that's the rumor that's that's going to be the new um, uh, for a new switch. That would be the new chipset. Now, is it still Tegra X1, and it's just another souped-up one? Is it smaller die so that it takes less battery and less less power to use? We don't know yet. Um, there's lots of rumors and speculation saying, oh, it's going to be a next generation one. It's still a generation behind whatever just i we're not talking about that we're talking about the dock and a w whether there's going to be a new switch anytime soon or not they're going to have to have a new dock um if just for the material and if just for to upgrade um if they uh, did discontinue the old dock uh you know they should release a newer dock with possibly newer technology uh, especially if they want 4K, they have to have HDMI uh, 2.0 uh, or 2.0B or 2.1. Um, they have to have that in there in order to do 4K. And the current switch is capable of that. So like, if they make a new dock, here is, here's where we're going into my ideas. If they make a new dock for a new switch, uh, then wouldn't it be possible that um, you could use that new dock on the current switch to upgrade it. Now, is this going back to the supplemental computing device idea and an external GPU idea? And in which case, do you even need a new switch if it's, if it's gonna do that through that? 
Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I do think that there's going to be a new switch coming out. Uh, and the idea, it, just like with the Switch Lite and with the Merico upga- update, is going to make it cheaper, smaller, run more efficiently. Um, the chipset I'm talking about here when I'm when I'm saying that cheaper and smaller, uh, and you know also also other other things, and then an upgrade to the screen. But the upgrade is not just technically technically an upgrade, but it's also um, to make it cheaper and battery if more battery efficient. You know, um, now some people will say you know if there's more bright pixels on the screen, then it's going to be actually less battery efficient because that's how OLEDs work. But we'll see how that how that works. There's been other patents around talking about brightness control for um, Nintendo Switch. I forgot to uh, bring that patent up. But, you know, maybe that has something to do with that. Regardless, we're talking about uh, the new dock, a possible new dock. The new dock, I think, will have more space for firmware updates because obviously they're like well, there you can actually update the firmware of the dock wow and some people are like oh that means that it can do 4k when they upgrade it and blah 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 no the the current dock can't do that um and the current switch could arguably not do that either i mean is it is it capable is the taker x1 capable yes but would it look good would would the um, AI upscaling in it be good enough? I probably not. It probably need a new chipset. <clears throat> That's again, you know. But regardless of whether they're making a new switch or not anytime soon, and it's a half step or it's a full step into next gen, or it's a replacement, or it's just an upgrade that you know may have some exclusive games to it. That's a whole other discussion. But no matter what it has, it's going to have to have a new dock and a new HDMI output HDMI cable uh, to go with it so that newer televisions can take advantage of it um, if you got 4K or more. Um, and, you know, that's something that's a shock to some people. They've, they've, they've got a 4K TV, but they got their, their Blu-ray player hooked up through uh, an HDMI 1 or 1.4 cable. And so they're still not really getting 4K, and some people can't even tell the difference. They they like to talk about specs on the box and on the instructions, and you know on the model or whatever. And, Ooh, I got the. They don't. They can't even tell by the naked eye. But you know, and then there's other people who are really been meticulous about that kind of stuff, and they can see by the naked eye that you know um, that's a uh, obviously not. 4k enough or whatever blah 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 (laughs) Uh, going off on a goofy tangent there but here's my ideas so um let me go over my notes here that i had written down uh talked about whether the uh dock should be is this continued or not um the current switch is limited by the current dock so it would need a new dock um talked about ai upscaling oh yeah um the current switch that we have is capable of overclocking too because they underclock the switch so that in portable mode it wouldn't overheat so could the new dock have a cooling system in it and that would add to the cost of course so that it could overclock more i don't think that they want to overclock it more but you know that's that's something to put out there we talked about the supplemental computing device and the project cafe ideas and why i think that that has more to do with that than it does an external GPU to add more visual prowess. Um, but the new switch itself or the new new dock um, would have to have new HDMI, like I said before. Would there be a supplemental computing device, more, uh, a chipset added to the dock to add DLSS? <clears throat> no, I think DLSS 2.0 has to be on the motherboard itself inside the machine. Uh, it can't be an external add-on later on or or tack on um and then would the new dock work with the old switch could it you know uh, at least make it look better on a 4k television now i don't personally have a problem with it but some scalers on some televisions and again people hook them up with the wrong cable uh you know they don't look as good on a 4k television me 
I don't I don't have that problem personally. I think mine looks good enough. Uh, I don't think it's like I want. I recently bought a 4K television and it's bigger too, and I'm pretty close to my TV. So it actually it, to me it looks better. But some people will be like, oh, it's grainy or this or that, you know. Um, but maybe this the television that I have it has it has a really good scaler in it. But with this new dock, it would you know if your television doesn't have a good scaler in it to to interpolate you know lower than eight ultra HD signals like the switch has and make it look somewhat better. And then with the AI upscaling that's in this, in the current switch, they could add patches, you know, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, possibly I, you know, I'm doubtful on that. I think it'll just be, you know, but my idea here is, is that they would release if they come out with a new switch with a new screen, that's going to be better and better battery and all that stuff. Um, then it would have to have a new dock, but then they could also sell that new dock separately for current users or current switch owners to where they will have better visuals on the television. They won't, it won't be as good as an upgraded switch or the newer switch that may be coming, the switch plus or super switch or switch pro or whatever you want to call it. Um, but still, though, uh, you could use that dock, um, and ergonomically, the dock may be, you know, smaller and, and better better made, um, so it just be, would be the natural progression of, of an upgrade for the dock, um, and then it would, you know, if you have a 4K television, then you don't have to buy the new Switch. It wouldn't piss off as many current Switch owners that don't want to upgrade again already right away um, and just get the new dock for cheaper and boom, you know, then they have a little bit better visuals. Of course, not as good as, you know, a new chipset and the new um, system could possibly bring. But that's just my idea. Um, originally, my idea was that there's not going to be a Switch Pro. But, you know, as more of this stuff stacks up, I'm like, uh, boy, maybe there is a possibility that it's happening. Um, I was thinking, oh, no, they'll just upgrade the dock. And, you know, give it more um, uh, power through the dock somehow. But now I'm thinking that there will probably be a new one, but there, there's going to have to be a new dock, but there might be a new system too. But the dock will still be there. And, you know, they'll phase in this, this newer system and phase out the old one. But for the people who have the old one, they can use the newer dock sold separately, TM, <laughs> trademarked. And do it that way. So uh, give me your thoughts. Give me your ideas. I know I have just have a static image here just staying at this at this tweak town. But I like this Derek Strickland, Strickland and how he uh, words his articles um, talking about the Switch. Um, you know, there's so many people that write stuff about the Switch and they have to say the most mundane, regurgitated bullcrap about Oh, so underpowered, and oh, the Switch needs to compete with the PlayStation 5 now, and, and it's like, shut up, you nerds. I mean, I know this is a nerdy topic, but, you know, you're just, you're just regurgitating the same information that's already out there, and you're not really adding to the discussion. This guy, I think, does, and um, interesting, interesting way about it, and he, he goes through patents and technology and, and what's currently available and, and possibilities for the future. And I, I like how he writes his stuff. And I just wanted to point that out to people. If, if nothing else, if you don't like my video, you think they're too long and they're too wordy or whatever, okay, go, go teach yourself some stuff by uh, looking at, at uh, the articles that this guy's written um, at Tweak Town. So, so he's got these three articles, the new Switch Pro 4K, blah, 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 which is basically more of what he said from this article, which is about a new dock that could uh, add more capabilities. And then the first article that he, again, wrote way back when, sorry, I had to turn the faucet on real quick. Something on my hand I gotta get off, sticky. <laughs> no people know. Um, and it's Nintendo Patents external, the, the supplemental computing device. And then, of course, I showed the link before uh, showing the new little possibility for a new dock 
uh, would be smaller and angled and all this other stuff, more ergonomic and cheaper um, because they've apparently either discontinued or they're just not making the new or the old docks anymore. So that is my uh, information and my uh, talking too much about the uh, current switch dock, the uh, problems, there's patents, uh, and my ideas for um, a new switch dock for a possible new switch or the new switch dock for the current switch. So thanks for uh, watching and uh, check those articles out and I will be back uh, hopefully sooner because as E3 appro approaches, I wanna do more of this stuff um, just in case something is announced at E3. I'm not, I'm not saying that, oh, I predicted it before anybody else or anything. I'm not trying to be like that. But at the same time, I do wanna get my ideas out there, you know, in case I'm right about uh, what Nintendo may or may not be doing in the uh, near to far future for the Switch. So thanks for uh, watching. And this is Dr. Yakman here, and I will uh, give you more information next time.